A Memphis woman is looking at charges accused of stealing a more than $4,400 tax return. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. Hi there, and I'm Shay Arthur in for Alex this afternoon. And we're just a week away from tax day. Experts tell me this is the time to be on alert and make sure you protect your hard earned money. This afternoon, Memphis police records show Nabrea Tillman is looking at a list of charges, including theft of property, identity theft, and forgery. The charges come after a woman reported her IRS tax refund check had been sent to a North Memphis home back in March, the check totaling $4,436. But she says when she went to pick it up, it was gone, discovering it had been cashed at a market down the road. The owner of the market showing police records and video of Tillman signing and providing her fingerprint for the check. She's She's also accused of showing an employee there an altered ID with personal information of the victim, but the ID still had her picture. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon. Um, this is why you always need to be protecting your, your, your personal information. Daniel Irwin is with the Better Business Bureau of the Mid-South. This is the time of year where you need to be concerned about two different things. Uh, and this is where we differentiate between the two. You need to be concerned about scams, right? Because identity theft is a big thing, but you also need to be worried about fly-by-night tax repairs. A business be behaving badly. He encourages everyone to always make sure they fully review the tax preparer's credentials. Be really weary of spectacular promises. If a tax preparer promises you a larger refund than the competition, that's always going to be a really big red flag. Um, and also, you know, think about the availability of the tax preparer. You want to know if something goes wrong that this person's still going to be around. Some good advice there. And Irwin also says it's important to remember no one from the IRS will reach out th to you through social media like Facebook or Instagram. And more to look out for when it comes to potential scammers. Fraud experts say they may reach out and claim there are issues with a tax return or that you owe more money. They'll then ask you to send money through a prepaid gift card or cryptocurrency. The IRS says it will not call, text or send an email.